may also be fatal. And almost all sightings of the chup chupacabra, it was like described as being hairless and having like scaled skin. And an explanation for the attacks on livestock with the chupacabra is like known for, for like killing livestock. Um, it may be also from the mange, which causes blood vessels to tighten, which makes its host um, exhausted. And if they were coyotes, it'd make the coyotes exhausted and not make them want to um, attack and hunt um, wild prey, making it easier for them to attack livestock. Um, so no one really knows where the myth of the chupacabra comes from, and there's no like factual evidence of it being All right. Thank you, Chelsea. Any questions about Chupacabra? Do you believe in the Chupacabra? <clears throat> I don't think um, that it's like a creature attacking livestock. It's probably like any other wild animal that we don't know of yet. Or like folklore kind of thing. Yeah. Why this? Why the? Why the uh, great? You know, disparity in descriptions. You know, you mentioned sort of a reptilian spe species of spikes and then another one that's completely different. Yeah, uh, um, why, well, why, why two different, completely different descriptions? I read that like, the first ever sighting came from a lady called, I think her name was Matilda or something like that. Um, she said that she saw this in the back of her yard and they asked her if she seen a movie called Species that came out that summer because they were relating it, the descriptions of being very similar. And she said that she had seen it recently, so they think that she was unconsciously thinking of it when hmm. she saw it in the back. And I'm not too sure why they think it turned into like a hairless dog, but I guess um, the case of Mage was like around at that time, like really major. So that's why they saw like so many coyotes suffering from that. Okay. Other questions? All right. Thank you.